Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel and in this episode I'm going to attempt to rap Yo, yes, my name's called T Ha da da, will you ever forget? My first car panel And I'm going to start with the roof of my Mustang How hard can it be? Yes, I've always wanted to have a go at wrapping a car and I've always wanted a black roof on my Mustang so one and the other together could give me that black roof with a bit of vinyl wrap. So first things first, I'm just going to get some of the dust and rubbish off the top of the roof and then the next job after that is we need to remove the shark fin aerial because that is going to be a bit of a pain to wrap anyway. We should be able to do it but it's going to make it easy to do the roof without the horn. So let's get those jobs done. So I've got most of the dust off then, um, but we'll give it another go before we start barn wrapping. But the next job is to get the shark fin antenna off the roof. So here I am cramped into the back of the car and look who's sat next to me, old Bob's here. So yeah, we're going to have a look at what we can do to actually get this shark fin aerial off. Now, the first thing is we're going to have to uh, remove this bit of uh, plastic here from the window. That should just pull off. And then we just need to drop the headlining and also take the plastics off, off this side as well. Now this bit here, just have to get your hands under and pull it down gently without bending it if you can. And it's got some magnetic parts to it holding on as well as some clamps. And that is now down. I can now, I don't know if you can see that, I can now get to that nut inside there, which is the one that's going to be holding the shark fin on. Looks a bit like uh, 10 mil. Okay, so you just need to get the bolt out and it's got like a little spider bit there, which that's going to push up against your roof metal and hold the actual uh, shark fin in place. So you need to take those off and then we should be able to lift it up from the outside after we've unplugged it from this plug here. Yeah, we can just now lift this off because luckily it's not sealed in any way. It's just a rubber strip. And that should just come straight out. Fantastic. After removing that, we've got a few marks here where the seal was on the shark fin. So let's give that a clean. So as usual, let's go through some of the tools you're going to need in this. So we've got um, one of these, I think that's a spudger. Uh, that's going to be onto a nice tuck and get it nice and flat. Uh, that is a cutter, so we can cut the vinyl with that, so you just slide that along, just cut the vinyl, so that's easy. We're going to need a nice glove now, so if we need to like press bits down, get some air balls out, just use a nice a nice glove. Lots of little tucking tools, uh, we hopefully won't need to use many of these to be honest at this point. Cutting tools, we'll definitely need to use some of these. Uh, I've got like single blade tools here, I'll cut my finger off. So there you have to replace the blades, and I've got replacement blades for them. These are the usual push out things, which is sometimes easy. You can just snap the blade off to get a new blade. You must have this sharp all the time when you're actually working with the vinyl, otherwise it will not cut correctly. And the last thing I'm going to use here is the knifeless tape. So what this is, this is just a bit of tape with a small thread in the actual tape itself. And the knifeless tape will be used for these edges here, where the little gully, the rain gully down there. So we'll put a layer piece of knifeless tape in there, and then when we've laid the vinyl on, we can get a perfect cut down that line by just ripping the tape up and that'll put the nice cut in for us. The only place we'll have to cut with the knife is, is here at the back of the rear screen and here at the actual front of the windscreen. But we'll leave enough slack to tuck that right down there so it shouldn't be such a big job. So first job is to now measure the roof and just see how much vinyl we need. This vinyl comes in 1.5 metres uh, width and then just bite in the length. So I've got a few metres worth of length here. So we're probably going to need one, one and a half metres by one and a half metres. So let me just measure that. So the size is actually 1.2 metres that way with a bit of overlap and 1.2 metres that way with a bit of overlap. But as, as the vinyl comes in one and a half metres, I'm going to probably do a 1.3 cut. And that way I should have just a little bit of extra just to make sure I've got plenty to tuck in around the windscreens here. There 
there's a lesson learned. Uh, when I cut the first piece, I laid it on the actual roof and I just checked it and it had some, a mark all the way down there and a mark all the way down there. I'm thinking, oh, have I got a faulty bit of vinyl here? Now this is Avery Denison, this is a good quality vinyl. This is 30 quid a metre. And when I looked, I put these little brackets up here to actually put the box on. Now as I pulled this off, I might just, I don't know if you can see on that bit there, let me get close. So you see the mark there? So that had been marked by run down that which was pointing outwards. So I've bent these over now, so that when I pull it out of the box, it's just gonna be rubbing on the cardboard and hopefully I won't make a mess of this one. So I'm just gonna cut another piece now and we'll go from there. So there's my piece laid in place. Uh, another tool you need, I forgot to mention, was these little uh, magnets that can just put on there and just hold it in place when you want to manoeuvre it and mess around with the actual vinyl. So the next stage is, move this out of the way and let's get the knifeless tape in place. So this is the knifeless tape if you've not seen that before. So, yeah, it's uh, good stuff to get a nice straight edge on your vinyl. So now the tape's in place, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some masking tape along the top edge of the windscreen and the rear screen. That just makes it easier and uh, stops uh, the vinyl sticking right down to the screen and makes it easier to work with along the edges. Unbelievable! I've just reviewed the footage from my GoPro which I set up for time lapse to record me actually installing this. And it hadn't, <laughs> I hadn't caught anything. I hadn't actually pressed the record button. I'd set it up into time lapse mode but never press the record button so I missed myself doing all that. But I did do it, just unfortunately didn't capture it. And last stage is to remove any grease from the panel with some isopropyl alcohol. So with the vinyl now in position and held down with magnets, it's now time to peel off the backing paper. That didn't go too bad there, so now we need to glass it out which is a matter of basically just trying to pull it as square as you can with the least wrinkles in the film when it's laid on the car. Now that you've got it very flat on the panel, it's time to use the squeegee to actually get it in position. So now this edge is done, it's time to use the knifeless tape to cut off the excess on this edge. So next is a bit of posty just to release any air bubbles that are trapped in there. So now let's have a go at the shark's fin. So I've just uh, trapped it in the vise here so I can work on it as if it was on the car and it's not going to move while I'm trying to mess around with the actual vinyl. Uh, I've got an off-cut that I've got from some other stuff that I've done here, so that should be enough to fill on there. Now, I've been looking on YouTube now, there's like three ways you can do these. So you can do these, uh, one way is to use one complete piece of vinyl and just cover the whole uh, shark fin. So the second way to do it is you can use one piece of vinyl to come over here and then you basically cut out down this side and you fold this piece over so you just get one seam there and the third way to do it is to cover this piece in one piece of vinyl and then put a separate piece here as an insert just covering that but you'd have a seam down there and a seam down there so what i'm going to do is to attempt to do the whole shark fin with one piece with no seams let me know in the comments do you think i should do this in one piece or should i do it with two pieces of an insert or one piece with the seam, which way would you have done it? Drop a comment below. But anyway, let's have a go, see how it goes for me. I also have a heat gun available as well, which we're gonna need to do the stretching. wasn't the easiest job I must admit. Uh, there's a couple of wrinkles on it uh, but you know what I'm pretty happy with it to be honest um, it, it's gonna look pretty good yeah I think it's gone all right to do it in one piece like that which was a lot of stretching and tweaking I've got a couple of wrinkles just there there's one or two on the edge here but for that attempt I don't think it's that bad now I've just tucked it under the, the rubber that the rubber seal that goes around there so I'm just gonna get the knife now I'm just going to cut round that rubber to inside that rubber seal so that the vinyl goes just underneath it. And 
Now that's been wrapped, it's time for a little post heat. And that's it, that's the shark fin done. Uh, not an easy wrap, I must admit, because of the shape of it, but I did it all in one, and there's a couple of creases on it, but I'm happy with that. And next is cutting out the hole for the shark fin to go back on and reinstalling that. So that's my first panel wrap ever and I'm quite happy with the results actually, it didn't go as bad as I thought it might do. So I'm very happy with that, I've got a bit more confidence now, so when I come to do some work on the Audi then I should be able to do that and fingers crossed it'll go as well as this did. And that's it, I've now got the black roof, check it out. What do you guys think of it? Is it something you do to your car? Do you want the black roof? I like it because I've got the black window tinted out so now it's kind of black stripe right down the centre of the car which I really like. Drop me a comment below, let me know what you think about it and if you would have done this to your car. So thanks again for watching, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did please subscribe to the channel for more content like this and if you like this particular video then please give me a thumbs up. It all helps with those YouTube stats. Thanks again, till the next time, stay safe.